Hello everyone. I thought I would share with you my drill collection and what their uses are. And if you don't have a, a drill collection, it might be a good idea to get one because it's super handy to have around. Um, first we'll just go over some of the, uh, the basics. You can't go wrong with even going to garage sales and um, yards, yard sales and pawn shops and picking up these older ones. And you go, well, why? Well, if you have more than one of these corded 3 8 3 inch drills, you can have one chucked already to drill and countersink for screws when you're doing your, your woodworking projects. And another one can have a Phillips head in it. So you're just laying one drill down and going to the next task. So having two or three drills that first might sound, you know, a little uh, crazy, it, not a bad idea. And these are so inexpensive, especially when you're buying them, like I said, from yard sales. So the 3 8 inch, and then the next size up for a quarter drill for me are the half inch chucks. Okay? And obviously they're, they're a more powerful, powerful drill. When you're looking at the drills, okay, the one in my right hand you'll notice right here, has a hammer drill feature. That is super handy. It allows you to use a special drill bit that will allow you to drill a hole immediately. It's super fast into concrete. Again, using a hammer action, it turns and, and hammers into it, removing the dust. And you can put a tap con or some kind of a, an anchor in, into, say, a brick, say, into uh, a slab. So. If you're just looking for one, I would look for a half inch with the, half, uh, with the hammer feature. So I've got a couple of half inch ones, and the reason why I like those are a little bit more powerful. And say I'm mixing mud for sheetrock, or say I'm mixing paint up, I can use some, or mortar when I'm doing tile work, I can use a paddle bit like this. If it's a small bucket of paint, oftentimes I'll just use something like this, a little stir. Super handy. A lot more handy than a wooden stick, although I still use those also for mixing paint. Now moving on to the uh, cordless. The one in my left hand, these are both 18 volt cordless. That's a, that's a good sized battery, that's a, a strong battery, and again, super handy to have. This is good for drilling and putting in screws, and this is the impact, and again, it has a hammering action. And this is great for putting in fasteners such as metal roof fasteners that have a little built-in washer. It'll just go blah 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 and you're done. Or if you're installing a deck, put in your star bit and it'll drive that that deck screw down in a heartbeat. Another feature that I like about the cordless, obviously I don't have to have a cord and plug it in the whole nine yards. Super fast. But I like using the work lights with it. So they, they have a lot of features that work out for the same battery family. And, you know, you can just click it on. But you can also point it, say you're working underneath a cabinet, uh, fixing a, a leak in the, in the drain system or, in, or you're hooking it up with the plumbing. You can just put this like this, set it down, and you've got your cavity all, all uh, lit up. Another light that I like is this flexible one. And you can just point at what you want, what you're working on, and the arm will stay right where it's at. Same. Let's talk about what we can use the drills for. Obviously, for drill bits. By the way, this is a Harbor Freight. Every now and then, this will go on sale for under ten dollars. 
What a set. People will complain it's not a very good set of drill bits. Well, if you're mainly working with just wood, this is plenty. Uh, maybe not so good for machining, but for woodwork, for $10, I bought three of them, to tell you the truth, I, just so that I have them everywhere. Very handy. The next thing are for auger bits. Say you're running wires in a, in a house or in a screened-in room. A good bit of auger bits works well. Sometimes your auger bit has to go through like a 6x6. Six six. So they have a screw tip on the end of them to help you and they'll pull through the bit and then when you get to the very end you can either pull it out and come in from the other side where the little tip came through or just push real hard and you'll get it. Sometimes you have to put a drain hole in some plywood and a hole saw, for example. Sometimes you want to run a spade bit. Okay. And the last one is what they call a Forstner bit, and that just leaves a and that just leaves a flat hole. I'll catch you on the next one.